Hey guys, welcome to a vlog. I didn't think about the fact that I posted at the end of last week a video on my main channel telling everybody to come to this channel because this is where I post my vlogs. Um, my life has been very boring <laughs> lately. I've just been at home. Uh, I had boo for an entire week so I wasn't really out doing much because I just try to spend my time with her and obviously I don't put her in videos. So I wasn't really recording a lot of things that I was doing, but the good news is, is that I have a lot of stuff coming up, namely the fact that it's one, almost two in the morning, in about three hours I have to leave to go to the airport to go to San Francisco. So I will be there doing the Minecraft Marathon. I'm sure that there will be tons of shenanigans that you guys will see in vlogs and things that I will be recording in the Twitch office or going out to Boba or whatever it is because you guys have seen that in a vlog. Um, but yeah, so I will be doing that coming up. So that's exciting. You guys will get more vlogs here. I don't like to just post random nonsensical like, here's what I did today and it's like super boring. I don't have, when I'm home, I don't have that exciting of a life. This is the most excitement that I've had in a long time. The fact that I have this new background and my dad helped me put this together. I'm very excited. This is like my whole nerd world in a cubicle. You can't see up there. Well, here, I'll show you up there. Um, look at that. There's my glittery Darth Vader and there's some Doctor Who stuff. And there's the Assassin's Creed and there's my space people, Gal Guardians of the Galaxy and Star Wars and Star Trek. And then there's all of my like other characters and things and then Adventure Time and Minecraft and Hello Kitty and down here's Disney and ponies and then over here's the superheroes and there's all the little characters that you guys made for me of my Minecraft skin. It's pretty cool. I'm very, and there's my Twitch stuff up there. So that's just about as exciting as my life gets while I'm here. Um, and so, yeah, so apologies for everybody that's new. Welcome to the second channel. Normally I am not sitting behind my desk. Normally I am out with my camera like you have seen in other vlogs. Um, today I kind of wanted to talk about a tweet that I tweeted a couple of days ago and the tweet said, you always get asked if you feel like the glass is half full or if the glass is half empty, but what happens if you feel both? So the meaning behind that tweet is, and I will preface this by saying I don't like to do vlogs where I talk about me if I'm not happy. I don't like to do those kinds of vlogs because I like to be the person that makes you guys happy. And so me doing a vlog saying, I'm sad, I feel like that makes you guys sad. You come to me to make your day better. And nobody is perfect. Nobody is happy 100% of the time. I think it's very unrealistic to expect yourself to be happy all the time. Um, but I know that I can kind of ease that burden by not talking about it in videos or not showing. Like, I don't, no one wants to see me cry. Like, every time I post a video of me crying, even if it's, like, not me saying I'm sad, if it's just a video of me crying, people are like, this video made me cry. I don't like to make you guys cry. I want to make you guys smile. When I'm sad, knowing that you smile makes me feel better. So the last thing I want to do, I get more sad when I post a video being sad, then you guys get sad, and then I get more sad, and then you get more sad, and then everyone's sad, and before we know it, we're all just eating out of tubs of ice cream and watching rom-coms, and it's that's not a good way to, I mean, that's like okay occasionally, but that's not a good way to live on a day-to-day. -day. We shouldn't do that. Um, so that the meaning behind the tweet is I have... Just, I had something happen um, about a week ago, and I've just really not felt good since then. And not good in the terms of I feel sick. It's not that I feel sick. I just don't feel myself. I don't feel complete, I guess the word is. So it's different when you when you are really happy my life right now just to give you guys a background my life right now is really good my life right now is probably the best that it's ever been quite honestly almost aside from the thing that happened but my life is very good right now i have a great job that i love boo is doing well i am doing well i was able to just pay off my my the remaining loan on my car my student loan so getting out of debt is a huge thing for me I bought something that I've always wanted and checked that off my bucket list. Um, 
so I feel responsible. I feel like my life is not stressful. I feel like everything is going well. But there's one part of me that's this other part where I don't feel good. And I can go through most of my day and feel fine. And then sometimes you just kind of get like stopped in your track and it hits you like just like a hit in the chest. And you're like, I'm just really sad. And it's a really weird juxtaposition to be happy in one hand and then not happy in the other hand. And the part of you that feels not happy feels like you're not allowed to be not happy because your life is good and you know your life is good. And I don't, I'm not depressed. I think, and I've said this in videos before, I think there is a huge difference between being sad and being depressed. Everyone gets sad. Not everyone experienced, experiences depression. I know what is making me sad. When I'm sad, I can rationalize why I'm sad and I can walk through those emotions and I can talk to somebody and say this is really what's making me upset that's very different than than depression which is someone is unable to express why they're sad everything could be going great and they could have nothing wrong and they're still just they just feel down um, and they they can't fix it there is no getting better from that um, so thankfully I, I do not have depression I'm just sad sometimes but it is a very weird feeling to have this I don't want to be upset about it um but it's it's just very weird and I wanted to just talk about it because I know that some other people I get asked all the time Aurelian what do you do when you feel sad I just got some tumblr um messages recently about it ironically enough and I wanted to like reply back and be like I know that feel bro I know that feel um but I you know, I think the biggest thing to remember sometimes is that you got to give yourself patience. It's okay to wake up and breathe. And if that's all you did that day, and that's how you got through the day, then that's fine. And you have to be patient with yourself. Some other people may not be patient with you, and that's okay because they don't know what's going on in your head. Um, your struggle is not everyone else's struggle. And that's very hard to to accept sometimes that people aren't always going to understand what you're going through communication is the best way to try to explain it to them so if you are struggling talking to somebody will help um, but we don't always feel like we can talk about it or we want to talk about it we don't feel like we want to put that burden on other people but I can tell you as a daughter as a sister as a friend as a mom I can tell you that there's never been a time that someone has come to me upset and it's been a burden to me I like being there for the people that matter to me and I like being able to provide them with an ear or a shoulder or whatever it is that they need when they're upset. And I think the other thing is a lot of times people feel like they can't go to someone because they think that the expectation is I'm happy or I've had very close friends of mine who do struggle with depression say I was doing so well and I had a bad day and I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin my good streak with my mom, dad, sister, brother, friend, counselor, whatever. And they take on this responsibility of or this feeling that they have to maintain 100% happiness all the time. That's unrealistic. That is not. That's not going to happen. Um, and no one expects you to. Nobody expects you to be perfect. And nobody expects you to be happy all the time. So don't put pressure on yourself because you think other people are putting pressure on you because they're not and if they are they're not your friend and they're not your someone who loves you and so you need to just not count what that person cares because <laughs> whatever they think is not realistic and so you have to do what's best for you and a lot of the times when you're sad or when you're kind of in the middle of it I know for me I struggle a lot when I'm just not feeling like myself my biggest struggle is being able to just do normal things. Like I will just sit and stare and just be like, I can't, I can't bring myself to record. I can't bring myself to whatever. And it doesn't last forever. It may last a couple hours and I'm fine again. But what I found is that there's always something, right? And if it's only one thing, then that's okay because it's one thing. So if today the thing that makes you feel better is reading, then read a book. If tomorrow the thing that makes you feel better is playing a game, play a game. But you have to focus on something that makes you happy, even if it's a small thing, even if it only makes you a little happy. 
because slowly but surely that happiness will come back and if you have watched my remembrance video you will know that I was really sad for a long time and playing games is what got me back to feeling like myself again slowly but surely I started to feel okay and feel like myself and it was a long process it was a long journey but it's step by step and even there's my trainer and I have this joke that there's a shirt that says um, I may run like a turtle in peanut butter but at least I run and the point behind that slogan is even if you're not doing it fast you're doing something and so even if you were really happy and your depression comes back or even if you're just dealing with it, maybe it's the death of a loved one or maybe a friend moved away or something and that's a process you have to get over if you are just doing something day by day that's okay you don't have to worry about being okay in a month you don't have to worry about being okay in a week you don't even have to worry about being okay tomorrow. Maybe right now the only thing that you need to do is worrying about being okay in that minute. And that's what my advice would be. And I'm trying to do that myself. I try also not to be super negative, but sometimes it's hard. I try not to be, I don't, you really won't find me tweeting things like, I cried at this I mean, I'll say, oh, this movie made me cry, but I won't say things that are, like, deeply personal just because I don't want to, like I said, I don't, I get enjoyment out of making people happy. It doesn't make me feel better to tell people that I'm sad. Um, it just, it doesn't help me. It doesn't make me feel better. And everybody, you know, deals with that differently. So, um, but I do kind of, like, let on subtly. I hope it's subtle. If it's not, please, like, leave a comment and be like, Ari, it's not subtle. Um, but just kind of to explain to you guys, like, I'm just not feeling myself. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody, and I don't think, I don't think any of you guys expect me to feel okay 100% of the time, and if you do, y'all are crazy, um, because I am a normal person. Uh, I deal with a lot of stress, and sometimes that catches up with me, and that, it happens. So, um, that's just kind of my subtle way of saying, like, hey, I'm just not feeling right. I'm not feeling 100% right now. So give me some time, give me some space, let me deal with this, um, and everything will be okay. But the good news is, and I wanted you guys to know that if you've been reading those and being like, what's wrong with her? Um, my life is great. I am happy with my life. I am happy with where things are going. I'm super excited about what the future holds. Um, but there is a little part of me that's kind of bummed, and um, I'm pretty bummed. So you know, if I seem a little less than sparkly, then that's probably why, but no one and nothing can completely dull my sparkle. It's kind of like my thing that I like, so no worry. Don't worry about me, dudes. Uh, but yeah, vlogs will be back soon because I'll be traveling. Um, it is 2 a.m. I am going to go do laundry, pack, put makeup on so that when I travel, despite the fact that I will have not slept, I did sleep in today, which was good, but despite the fact that I had not slept in about 19 hours, uh, I want to look fierce and on point. So as it stands right now, I haven't slept for 15 hours, something like that. Anyway. Hopefully I look beautiful and taking care of my complexion and eating well. So there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in San Francisco.